at the moment that it hit, I remember reaching up, I closed my eyes, and I told myself, I'm going to die right now. Because <laughs> I was aware of what was happening. <laughs> and I knew it wasn't going to be good. My name is Melanie Johnson. I am from Bismarck, and I am an accountant. I'm married to Pat. Um, we have four children. We've been married, I guess now, as of now, we've been married maybe 22 years. Um, we got married when we were like 14. Just kidding. I am originally from Cavalier, which is like 80 miles north of Grand Forks. And when you live in Bismarck and home is that far away, we don't get home often enough. And so that weekend happened to be Mother's Day, and we decided to spend the day with my mom. So we drove up to Cavalier. The two twin girls are in the, the, the third seat, so the way back. My boys are in the two uh, seats in the middle, and then my husband is driving, and I'm in the passenger side. As we were driving, um, we came upon a, a semi that was pulling. Uh, it had a long flatbed trailer on the back, and it was on the trailer was a John Deere combine. It was the new John Deere Combine. I did find that out later, but the reason that you kind of know it's new is because it had no wheels. Um, that's how they transport these big pieces of mach machinery. And so the axles of this machine stuck out farther than the actual machine itself. So it was a wide load. Anyway, Pat, uh, my husband, got in the passing lane. And as he got up and around the, um, the vehicle, and as he started to come I mean, we weren't next to it quite yet, but the semi started to kind of veer over a little bit, and I, I noticed him coming over, but the problem is in this situation is he, he didn't stop. <laughs> At some point you're thinking he's gonna correct back. Unfortunately, he didn't. And as he continued to come over and, and Pat kind of then slammed on the brakes. That's when we felt the impact of what we now know the axle of this combine that was being hauled hit the rear part of our minivan um, at that moment. I reached up on the I remember reaching up, I closed my eyes, and I told myself, I'm gonna die right now. <laughs> as soon as the car stopped spinning, and as soon as we knew, as, as soon as you kind of gained your composure and realized like, wow, I'm not dead. <laughs> um, both my husband and I, I recall, I remember turning um, towards the back of the, the vehicle to see if everyone was okay with the four kids. And um, of course, there was terror on their faces. Nobody was really crying though or anything because it all happened so quickly. The impact of this axle was literally inches from my daughter's head. And had we been over three, four inches, my daughter, my son, and myself would have been sawed in half. So I'm reading this crash report, and I was like, oh, okay, weird, you know, all these details. Until I reached the part where it talks about the individual driving the semi. And it says that, it says the reason for his distraction. So this is distracted driving at its finest. The person was reaching for his drink. And as soon as I read that, I, I started to cry instantly because I'm like, I hope 
My family is worth more than your big gulp or your bottle of water, whatever. Just the idea of that momentary distraction, wiping out a family, I don't think it's worth it. My hope is that next time when you are driving or you're with someone that's driving, that you don't allow a distraction to affect your driving because not only does it affect you, but it affects everyone around you. And all of us have families, and hopefully you'll think of my story and what happened to our family. And if we can save that from happening to another family, then I think telling my story is worth it.